Electrically speaking, the Earth, stars, and planets are RLC circuits. That is, a resistive, inductive, and capacitive circuits inside an electromagnetic bubble that create an internal electric field. That field is contained, like the pressure inside a bubble, inside the spherical layers of multi-junction capacitance created by the planetary crust, atmosphere, and plasma sphere. It doesn't matter if the crustal layers are solid, liquid, or gaseous plasma. They are dielectric layers that form capacitance in the circuit. They also reflect energy back into its interior, making the bubble a resonant cavity. The internal electric currents respond to the currents outside the bubble the same way high side transformer coils do, inducting a higher voltage inside the bubble than exists outside. Induced currents inside the Earth is modeled by Hans Alphen's transformer model of Earth. It is a model I agree with, but Alphen was only modeling the energy coming in. He did not include the circuitry of energy storage and discharge, which is the capacitor in the circuit. It's a necessary addition to model the complete RLC circuit. The Earth's internal electric field radiates from its core to the sheath of the spherical capacitor, vectored in opposition to the external electric field of the Sun, which makes the planetary body an electrode. Any electrical stimulation from outside elicits a higher voltage response internally. As above, so below. As without, so within. That resonates within the spherical cavity. This amplifies internal currents and excess energy stored in the spherical shells of the containment bubble, while releasing measured amounts of energy through the capacitor to maintain a steady state. At least up to the point where dielectric breakdown occurs, when the internal electric fields gets too strong and starts pushing energy through in a runaway arc mode discharge. This is what happened to Mars. 